I'm hoping that my kids will learn to connect to nature, um, that they'll learn about the environment, that they'll learn to, to connect with what's around them, the living things that are here. Well, we are at Rancho Penasquitas Park, um, which is a county park, and it's important to our family because it's so close to us. Um, we're really lucky to have an open, wild place like this so close to our home. And it's surrounded by suburban-style neighborhoods. It's really quite remarkable. It's, it, it, it illustrates one of the things we talk a lot about is the need to connect kids and families and all of us to nature where we live, work, learn, and play. They love to find bugs, they love to find frogs, they love to find crayfish, they love to find any living thing and just investigate and explore and really learn in that hands-on way that is so important. I remember I uh, interviewed a little girl and she said, when I am in the woods, I feel that I am in my mother's shoes. Uh, she had been introduced to me by a teacher as their little poet and she said that she had a special place down in the woods that she would go. It was next to a big tree. It was a hollowed out area and she kept her blanket down there and she would go down to this place and she would lie on her back and she said, I would look up through the branches and I would think of my poems. And she said, one day I went down there and my tree was gone, and my blanket was gone, my place, my special place was gone. And she said, when they cut down my tree, they cut down part of me. I don't think the little poet was speaking metaphorically. I think she was being quite literal. To a kid, a clump of trees at the end of the cul-de-sac, may, that may look like nothing to an adult, but to a child, that can be a doorway into a whole universe. It can be their first doorway into a, just a sense of wilderness through their imagination. They're not gonna get that looking at a computer. This is my park and I wanna take care of it. I pledge to bring along family and friends to inspire them to care for wilderness as passionately as I do. I pledge to sash the electronics. I pledge to stand up for our collective public land. By making wilderness my priority, I can help keep our two lands truly protected and wild. I pledge to revisit my favorite wild place or discover a new one. This month I pledge to go outside and play and share this message with my friends and family. Together we can inspire a new generation of conservation leaders. Join the Wilderness Society and the Children in Nature Network today and help protect the wild places that we love.